Wix slider autoplay tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a slider into your Wix website and it will be autoplaying. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you need to sign in for an account. If you have already an account, go ahead and visit your site's dashboard. This, this is the first thing that will face you or face you when you sign in into the account. So right here, as you can see, we are on the site's dashboard of mine. If you don't have a website, you're going to see this specific page right there. This is the specific page that it will pop up if it is the first time that you are going to use Wix. You have the choice to use the Wix editor or the Wix studio. So whenever you finish right there, you will get a site dashboard that contain all of the websites. So I'm going to select one of the websites that I own. Then I'm going to click on edit I select and edit the site. It will show up right there, the dashboard of that specific website. Now we have the menu. We have the parameters and the settings of the website. If you want to set up anything from the payment uh, accessibilities and also the shippings, and etc you can go ahead and head over the settings right there and then you are going to set everything from bookings events business info settings of the website mobile app and etc so right here i'm going to head over the home and we are going to click on edit the site click on edit site and you will see right here the website set in my case i have already preloaded the website because when you click on here on the edit site it will show you a progress bar that it will take a little bit of time from you so i have um, made the process a little bit quicker so as you can see right there we are on the website it is fully loaded now we are going to add a uh, empty section to add our uh, slider uh, or the autoplay slider so we are going to see here between these two sections, we have the option to add a section on it, or you can go ahead and see the left bar right there containing the menu. We are going to head over the uh, sections. Here we can add section and choose the type of the section that you want to add. Generally, I highly recommend you to click on uh, and add the blank section because we don't need something that it will be showy because we are going to add the slider. So we are going to move it the section uh, right away. So I will let here the heading, the presentation of the portfolio. And then we are going to see here the, as you can see the, the section. So now we are going to click on add elements. And from there, you are going to see the different elements that you can add. So go ahead right away and go to the interactive. Select the interactive. And here we have full width slideshow and box slideshow. So let's go ahead and select the full width slideshow. Then we are going to choose one of them. And finally, we are going to add it right away. So I'm going to choose maybe this one. I'm going to drag and drop it to this specific area. And here we have it. So we have slide one of three. This is the second slide, the third slide, and boom. So we are going right there to manage the slides. Here we have the slides. You can go ahead and manage them. So you can rename, duplicate, delete. Here also we can add a new slide. And from there, we have the uh, also the option to change the slide background. Let's say that we have everything set. I'm going to click on manage slide. Here we can see the slides, click uh, into every one of them to see them. Now let's go ahead and exit that parameter. Then we can change the slide background. For example, you can go ahead and see here the slide background. You can add an image, a color, a video. And for the background, you can go ahead and remove it for the image you can go ahead and do that too so you're going to uh, set here uh, the slider again because 
I have uh, removed it. Interactive slider. So here we have it again. Now you can go ahead and click on the settings. Now, as you can see, here we have the option to auto plays on loading. You're going to simply activate this option. How long between slides? So the switch is going to be here with a second. So we are going to set a uh, delay of three seconds only. Then the slider will change to the next one. And here you can go ahead and uh, set a, a stop on the autoplay on hover. For example, when you hover the mouse right there on the screen of the uh, slider, it will stop the autoplaying. But in case, I highly recommend you to let this off. So here we have the transitions effect. You can go ahead and put some transitions effect. For example, the slider will be vertical, horizontal, crossfade, in and out, for example, like that. And here, how is uh, the hour or how long do they last for the duration? We are going to set, for example, one second, two seconds, and way or where do they start from left, from right, or whatever. I highly recommend you to let it here uh, as a default from right. So it will uh, be uh, sliding like this, like that. So here we have it, like this. Boom. You can go ahead and hide the content outside of the frame. For example, like that, outside the frame, you are going to hide the content or let it as it is. You can manage the slides from there. And here we have it. So this is the first slider. I'm going to uh, save the settings right there. Then we are going to publish it to the website and see it. I'm going to click on publish now. Here we have it. I'm going to visit my website. So let's see here the website. I'm going to uh, put the action on the slider. So we are going to wait for the images to uh, load up. And boom, here we have the slider. As you can see, we are going to wait for a few seconds and it will be sliding like that. Here we have it. So it will take, uh, it will not take uh, long. So here it is a little bit fasting. So we need only to regulate that. How we can do that, we are going to click on the gear icon and here, how long between slides? Three seconds and we're going to set the horizontal effect. It didn't save the horizontal effect. So we're going to set this publish. We're going to wait, view the website again. And normally it should be sliding from the right to the left. I'm going to see here. Let's see. And boom, here we have the effect apply. So that was very cool. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.